Um, just build on what Caitlin was saying. I mean, the president, uh, he said that there was going to be a new tone in Washington. Mm -hmm. uh, obviously, Manchin, Collins do not feel that this is a new tone. So how does the president kind of square that, saying that he does want a new tone? We're going to have a new language, new no respect for everyone, and this you know, fire on the spot kind of policy, he has said. Have you asked Pre Senator Manchin and Senator Collins about whether they think uh, President Biden has a new tone? Well, I mean, I think Senator Manchin and Senator Collins have said that they, they have concerns about uh, about her tweets and her language. And, and we, we disagree on whether she is the right choice for OMB, to lead the OMB. Uh, but that is a bit of an overstatement to suggest that anyone, and you should ask them, and unless you've had interviews with them, then please speak up and convey that to us. But uh, they they both have had regular conversations with President Biden. Uh, we, we look forward, let me finish, we look forward to working with them on a range of priorities and issues, uh, whether it's the American Rescue Plan, whether it is uh, immigration, uh, addressing the outdated uh, immigration system, whether it is uh, foreign policy issues, and he'll continue to engage and have discussions with a range of senators, including people where he has disagreements. And I think that's fair, but I think the question is, does the pre is the president okay with the language and rhetoric that Neera Tandem has used in direction of other members of Congress, including some Democrats and especially Republicans. I think the fact that the president nominated her to lead the budget to be uh, running OMB reflects uh, his view that she's the right person to be in his cabinet, to uh, lead uh, the, be overseeing the budget, uh, and that her qualifications, uh, her history of uh, working across the aisle with people from different groups uh, who have different points of view is a reflection of how she would uh, do that role. Mitt Romney said he is critical of extreme rhetoric. Susan Collins says she's demonstrated exactly the kind of animosity President Biden pledged to transcend. Manchin said he's worried that her statements will have a toxic and detrimental impact on the working relationship that they're expected to have with the budget director. So does the White House believe that her past statements are inflammatory? Well, Caitlin, uh, we would, the president would not have nominated her if he did not think she would be an excellent OMB director. And uh, he nominated her because she is qualified, uh, because she is somebody who has a proven experience and record, as I outlined earlier, of working with different groups and organizations with different political beliefs, uh, and because he believes that her own experience will contribute to taking a fresh perspective and a fresh approach to this position. Uh, so we simply just disagree with uh, whether she's the right person for the job with uh, these senators. So President Biden did not have any concerns about her past statements? I think I'll leave it at what I've said so far.